Are you sick and tired of this? <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to Asian Man TV. TV. Now due to popular requests, you guys have been requesting to do a handstand tutorial. So today we're gonna teach you how to handstand in five steps. By the way, stick to the end of the video. We will have a handstand, handstand challenge. challenge. Step number one is a strength test because you want to know that you're able to hold your weight before actually trying handstand. First thing you can do a push up to see if you're strong enough. Now, once you know that you can kind of hold your weight, you want to see if you can hold your weight on just your hands. Put your hands down like this, about shoulder width apart. You see this awkward crease on your inner thigh? Make sure that's on your elbow and push your elbows outwards and lean forward. From the side, it looks like this. When you're doing the strength test, this is also where you figure out what your balance is like. The way I find my balance is a bit like I'm controlling a motorcycle. So when my wrist does this back and forth, it lets me find my balance. When you do a handstand, you want to grip it like you're gripping a ball. You need to put pressure on your fingertips and then control it with your wrist. And if you look at it closely, you'd realize that the bulk of my palm is not even touching the floor. Once you're confident with this, you would know that your strength is enough to attempt the handstand. The second step is learn how to fall. Before you actually attempt the handstand, you need to be confident enough to do the handstand, right? So here we have Justin here. He's going to show you how to do the handstand fall. There's two methods. The first step will be handstand to a bridge. But he's flexible but maybe I'm not, maybe some other people is not, right? So this other method will be the, those people that is not so flexible. So the second method is a handstand to a fall row. Yes! As you can see, before we actually can handstand, hand is straight, back is bent, chin remember to tuck in, so it's very important. We don't want you to hurt your neck. Handstand, tuck in the chin, head and row. There you have it. Now moving on to step 3. We're gonna try simple techniques like tucking your leg. Make a small handstand. Once you get more and more comfortable, you can try to straighten it up. Now if you're lucky enough to have a wall next to you, you can use the wall because it's gonna help you progress a lot more. Now what you need to imagine, two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. So the key here is you're gonna stand at the mouth. Remember one foot in the nose, two hands in the eye, and I try to kick the wall. A lot of you guys are gonna have this issue. Just remember, kick through the wall. Try to kick the wall as hard as you can. So a few things not to do, don't go too far away from the wall, don't go too close to the wall, just have it about one hand length away from the wall, so it gives it enough space for your head. Once you get one foot tapping, you wanna get two feet to tap, both feet tapping. And when you're confident, try to go one, two, hold for a while. So we come to step number four. Handstand techniques. First of all, if you want to do a handstand, it's not just about a hand. It's not just about going to a handstand and just straighten your hand. That's, you need to use your fingers as well. Like a, like a clog, gripping against the floor. And make sure you use your finger to push yourself back and forth to gain the balance. Don't bend your elbows. If you want to do a handstand, you want to handstand for a long time, right? You want to handstand for a long period of time. Maybe 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute. If you don't bend your elbow, you can save a lot of strength. Do not arch your back. If you arch your back, right, you'll be using a lot of your back muscles, which is unnecessary. You just need to straighten your hand, okay? Look in between your hand, or if you are more confident in the future, you can even look straight. Even though it's called a handstand, your legs are actually very, very important. Now, some people like to do it that way, I like to do it this way, but they both work. What it does is it acts as like a, a balancing pole or a balancing beam, like weights. If I also do it straight, I use my legs like that to control my movement. If I'm going back and forth, I could do it this way too. Step number five, the handstand. Using your finger, elbow straighten, keep your back straight, and control your body. Here are a few final tips. Confidence, confidence, confidence. If you don't visualize yourself going into the handstand, you probably won't be able to do it. Imagine your body being upright and just go for it. Yes, you might fall, but there are always ways to get out. The way I like to do it is if I'm about to fall, I simply tuck one hand. Don't be afraid to fall. You're bound to fall a few times, but confidence and believe that you can do it. Now, if you're struggling to get your balance as well, one thing that you can do is toggle back and forth. Back and forth to find your balance. Now what you don't want to do is give up. So if you're doing a handstand and you're falling a little bit forward, find that balance. If you're falling back, try to catch that balance as well. Now a really crucial part as well is if you can breathe, if you can handstand and breathe at the same time, you should be pretty confident. Alright guys, congratulations. Once you get a handstand, you pretty much have the confidence to have your legs above your head. And this progress to a lot of things like maybe a front hand sweep. Cut you into a handstand. 
for all these kind of movement is all connected. Once you practice one, you can pretty much practice another. The last part, the hands and challenge. Three, two, one, up. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> is everyone down? Yes, yes, yes. yes. It's less than five seconds. Stupid <laughs> Justin, you. Right, so that was a silly challenge because Justin almost lost his life. But just for kicks, we're gonna do handstand variation. <laughs> There you go, we've answered your questions about how to do a handstand. Now if you have any other questions, just comment in the comment section below. below. And always remember to subscribe. subscribe. If you want to know how I do my hair, click right here. here. If you want to know more about girls, click right here. And always, always remember, remember to subscribe. subscribe. There you go, so catch you next time on Asian Man TV. TV.